Andrew, from a writer's standpoint, you want to fire off a few questions to him? Uh, like if you were ready to do an interview on, on Red Dirt Report, maybe we can get that, you know, that type of approach. What do you think? Sure. Cover we your local boys doing good, man. You guys are going worldwide, so we got uh, 19 seconds. I'm sorry. Let me, let me bring this break back in, and then uh, we'll let you go ahead and Andrew. We don't have anybody on the call board yet. We should be getting a few, so. Okay, nine seconds, guys. Okay. You are listening to Radio Free Oklahoma here on We The People Radio Network. I'm Andrew Griffin in the studio with Chris Emery and Holland Vanden Neuenhoff, and we're also here with the We Love Gamers crew here in Oklahoma City, and uh, we've just been kind of uh, taking things on the lighter side today and just talking about their, uh, their show on YouTube and gaming culture and any other crazy nutty things that they want to talk about. So uh, where where are we taking it from here, guys? Where, where's this uh, where's this going? Well, we're the only one, as far as I can tell, doing a sitcom about the gaming culture. Everybody else has tons of review shows. There's tons of movies being made off based off video games. But as far as I can tell, we're the only sitcom. And uh, where is it going from here? Well, I think to the top. I mean, we've already made history. We, we have views in every country in the world, minus Africa. And fair enough to them, I, I think food's probably a little more of a priority to them than video games at this point. So, I mean, we've already been on G4 within a week. Uh, G4 blew up. We have a surprise episode coming up for episode four. And we honestly think this might be our six, seven figure episode that's just going to absolutely launch things for us. As far as where, where we want to take it, man, he's absolutely right, to the top. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it reminds me, when I was in a band, you know, to get signed onto a major label, you had to sell at least 10,000 copies of your record by yourself. I think of this as the groundwork for that. You know, we, we want to be, have a, in, in, eventually have our own television show, our own, we've, we've already written a movie script, that's how this whole thing started. Mm -hmm. So, as big as we can possibly be. Okay, now, how did you two come together and, uh, like I said, if you want to just review that, the, wow. the genesis of all of this? <laughs> um, well, I met this guy back in college, uh, and uh, I guess, what, that was like six, six and a half years ago, something like that, and we've just been doing, uh, you know, various little video projects here and there since then, and uh, as far as the uh, video game movie goes, uh, Drake came to me with the with the idea and was like, hey, we should do a movie about video games. And I was like, well, all right. And so I was sitting, uh, I was working at Fox at the time, and uh, I was sitting in my edit bay, and I started kind of outlining everything. And uh, I was, it all just started flowing together. And I was like, wow, this, this is actually going to be pretty cool. And it took us about three and a half, four months to write it. And we got done with that. And uh, I sent off a bunch of scripts to different uh, lit agents just blindly, mm -hmm. which you're not supposed to do, I guess, <laughs> because I, all I got was hate mail back. But uh, and uh, well, Drake learning experience. Hey, yeah. that's all right. <laughs> and uh, Drake came up with the idea to start uh, reviewing video games on YouTube, and he did a couple of them. I was like, all right, all right, well, you know, let me help. Let you know, let's do some stuff, and then. Uh, he came up with another idea about, you know, beginning of May, and, hey, let's do something a little different. Let's showcase more of our, like, what we wrote in the script mm -hmm. with, uh, with the webisode. I was like, awesome, you know, that'll help us, you know, we can work on writing and all that. And then everybody just kind of came together and started working really hard, and that's where we are right now, <laughs> so... This is all Oklahoma talent, correct? Okay, that's yeah, great. Correct. He said everybody just came together. That ain't, that ain't entirely. Dude, Devin Winter makes this thing run. This guy's the best people met wrangler I've ever seen. For real. I've met For real. We got lucky and we got, we got Elizabeth uh, through, through the Craigslist. But man, when we need something, man, Devin's always there to make it happen. This thing wouldn't be... 
you wouldn't believe the amount of man hours both Devin and I have to put into this thing. And all of us, man, we yeah, work hard. That's true. We yeah, have to work hard true. to make this thing happen. Is yeah. there is there a certain benchmark, if I may ask, more on the uh, the shop talk side of it, uh, as far as figures or views where you may be remunerated for your efforts? Uh, it, it, as far as compensated for your efforts, like with advertising and so forth. Mm, I love the money question. Uh, <laughs> More in a pragmatic A lot of people are making money off YouTube, sure. and you know, there's no reason we can't do it either. I, it's all about the quality. It's all about keeping, basically, just keeping it edgy as all, edgy as all day lights. And that hasn't been a problem. Like I said, every week Derek blows us away with some kind of new script. Cause we just lock him in a room. You know, he's rarely on set. We <laughs> lock him away, and he's just typing away like a little. Make sure he's fed, showered. Yeah, we push him food under the door, and he gets sunlight for 30 minutes a day. But other than that, he is a machine, and he's just banging out a script. Um, Look, I just love being part of the show. I don't know if I help that much. I don't know what I do. But oh, the, the fact of the matter is... <laughs> I've known you for three years. So yeah, like, the fact is, is we're really lucky because the one thing that we've done right from the get-go, and I think it's something that's completely separated us from everybody else on YouTube, we talk back. All of our comments, all of our fans, they love us because we'll respond to anything. You say... LOL, and we'll usually say, wow, that's original. Come up with something better, and we'll give you something, you know, we'll give you a better comment back. But our, some of our fans, on some of our comment people, we have conversations about Mactastic Dazzle and Borg, Borgoff 55 and Blink Romance. I mean, we don't even know these guys, but yet we talk about them like we've met them, and yet we only know them by a gamer tag. So, sure. you know, we're, we're growing. I love it. Now, all of you uh, are gamers hardcore, just brand new, uh, novices, or, uh, I mean, one end of the spectrum, the other, or nobody really... Oh, no, I'm the best game player here. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> There's no way that was the best game player. When are we going to break? No, just kidding. No, there is no... You know, Drake likes to think he's the best player, but the fact is, he's my... Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> no, that's, if he gets lucky every now and then. You know what? I love when Devin and I play, because we're very evenly matched. It's fun. It's fun. You're right. In our crew, it, it ranges from really good to pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that good enough? Totally we won't, we won't reveal who's the worst. <laughs> we all know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel bad, guys. I don't know how to hold a console, so this is definitely uh, a new bile here. Um, it's Elizabeth. Okay. Now, uh, 24. I mean, your, your age range is 26. Your age range is at least 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Does that work to your advantage as far as her character or writing the script and so forth? Okay. I see the head shaking. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, we had passed the mic over there. It, it does. A, um, you know what? When we were just doing reviews, we've been doing reviews for about seven months, just video game reviews, until we launched this website, this this uh, this sitcom, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, when we were doing video game reviews, we had at max nine percent female viewership. Uh, YouTube now lets you see exactly how your demographics are breaking down, and since we've included her on, we're getting videos that are hitting 27, close to the 30% range. And for a video game channel, that's hard. That's yeah, real huge. hard. Okay, so what are your thoughts? I mean, are, obviously you're enjoying it. Uh, you, you've been on set now, what, six weeks? Yes, um, it's been so much fun. I'm getting to play video games, and I love to play video games. I like to kill things a lot. Um, I pwned the crap out of my boyfriend last night, our first night in our new apartment. <laughs> We played Call of Duty 4 and it's on split screen and I just pwned him so hard. Oh, um, yeah. Now for the listeners, pwned is actually an acronym or a misspelling of owned. owned. Okay. I owned him. <laughs> That's what happened. I owned him. Okay. Um, and I'm getting to play more video games than I've probably played, well not in my life because I've always played video games. I had Atari, the, the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Her homework is to 15 minutes a day to play video games. And Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> it's eating my life and I love it. Um, I do, I, that's all I want to do. I want to sit home and play video games all day. I've got my Wii. I've got the PS3 that I'm hijacking. It's John's, it's my boyfriend's, but I play it more than he does now because I'm always on Call of Duty just, just killing. And um, I'm having so much fun. So much fun. And I'm, getting, I'm becoming a better video game player because of it. 